How's it going, folks? All right, we're back with another section on the Coilmaster version 3 coiling tool. This time around, it's quick, easy, down and dirty how to use it for a standard coil. All right, so we're going to start out with my thicker gauge wires because, well, that's where I've got it set up for. So you're going to slide your wire right through the top. Pull it out to whatever length you want it. Hold it tight. Now, from the top, that's going to be clockwise. You're going to spin that away from you. I'm using the 2 millimeter bar at the moment. Put that on there. In fact, we're going to go ahead and back that out. I don't need a big coil, and I also don't need the wire hitting the camera. There we go. Nice little background there. Put it on there. Push it down. First turn have some pressure applied to it. That gives you your starter. Now that's going to be one. Now from there you just kind of slack off that pressure. As you notice it will bounce, bounce up a little bit. Just kind of leave it there and let the tool do its job. Two, three, four, spin it around, six or however far you want it to go and boom you're done simple as that what I do from here is I'll kind of bend that up a little bit you know take the you know just go ahead and take the little bit of pressure off of that and pull it on through now ordinarily you wouldn't have that much wire left but that just happens to be what I had. Now from there, you go ahead and take that. And what I normally do is straighten up that wire, kind of pull it out there so it's nice and straight. And just kind of push down on it. And boom, you've got your perfect legs. Good to go. Now, to show you the power of the Coil Master tool, we've all got them. You've got your bent to hell, messed up scraps. See that? Ordinarily, you wouldn't wrap that. Well, we're going to today. Again, this time we're going to wrap it the opposite direction. We're going to go counterclockwise. So, you're going to pull that through. And what I'm pulling through here is that gnarly bit. That, that really jacked up, twisted, bent up, gnarly section. And again, we're going to be using that 2 millimeter rod and the 2 millimeter cap. Now, when you're doing it on that second hole, that one on the bottom, that's going to be your counterclockwise hole, and you're going to want to start that wrap going away from you. So, I'll go ahead and twist that wire kind of up like that. And get it on there, push down for that first wrap, and from there you just kind of slack off. Let the tool do its job. That would be number two, three, four, five, and six. There we go. That's nice. Nice number right there. And then again, you just kind of bend it up a little bit and pull it through. Ordinarily, you wouldn't have that much leg left. What I'll do is I'll flip the coil around, put it back on the bar, and kind of straighten up that leg a bit. Now, why don't you take a look at that? That was that gnarly, kinky, yeah, messed up wire. And we've got a nice, tight coil. That's wire you would have ordinarily thrown away. Boom. Instant cost savings right there. Alright. Now let's talk about 
your thin wires, your 30 gauge, your, and in this instance, your twisted 30 gauge. I don't have any 32, so I've got 30 gauge and twisted 30 gauge. Now, the twisted 30 gauge you can use on the standard setting if you want, but I normally end up going with the thin setting just because it makes life easier. So we'll put that through, and just to show you, put that cap back on. And it's on the top one, so it's away from us and then towards us. Yeah. It makes a nice, good, even coil. And what we're going to go ahead and do here is untwist that. We're going to go ahead and take that apart because, well, it's really not going to jack it up too bad. And as we've already seen, the Coil Master tool will work with jacked up wire. Let's see, we've got a really bright spot right there. So, oh, 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 that didn't help at all now, did it? All right, that sun is killing me. We'll go ahead and straighten that out a good bit. Now, what we're going to do here is find the two millimeter end of our cap because that's what we're looking. And that's what we're working with. We're going to take our uh, hex driver, Allen key, Allen wrench, whatever you want to call it. Get it in there and just unscrew that screw. Once that screw is unscrewed, you move it up to the next hole. In this case, it will be that hole on top. Now you can't, I don't know if you can tell or not, but there's a slight difference in the spacing. The hole that it just came out of is slightly further away from that center pole, from that center rod hole than the other hole is. So what you'll do is put it into the one that's closest to that center rod hole. Get it in there and give it a nice tighten down. Now you don't want it super tight. You just want it, you know, finger snug. That way it just it doesn't fall off. Right. Now again, that was our two millimeter bar and cap. So we're gonna take our twisted 30 gauge, run it back through, we're going to put it on the top, try to do this on the camera. I like putting it through the top, a lot of times, you know, people put it through the bottom, and I can understand that, for ease of, ease of doing it on cam, yeah, it's easier to put it in through this side. Alright, so get it in there. Get it adjusted where you want it, and oh, bend that down. There we go. Get that first wrap going. And there you go. It wraps up just as easy as sin. Nice, beautiful coil. All right, now we're gonna go with that 30 gauge. Everybody has problems with that 30 gauge because nobody ever adjusts that screw. A lot of people don't realize that's what that screw is for. Now we've already adjusted our screw, so we're going to throw it in there. We're going to hold that wire down with our thumb, get our top cap, and just, oh, there we go. Gotta get it on there. Sometimes it gets it, sometimes it don't. There we go. I got it. And then just do our spins. And you'll find that the thinner the wire, the quicker and easier that spin is. Now sometimes that 30 gauge and maybe 32 
will get a little bit caught up underneath of this nut here. All you got to do is take your finger and just kind of hold the lead and give a quick little shimmy and it drops right off. So we're going to go ahead and hold that, pull it out, and perfect little 30 gauge coil. Well, actually it's a 2.5 millimeter 30 gauge wire coil. But either way, I couldn't have done better than that on you know, a drill bit in, in hand if I practiced for 30 years. There's no way I could have made a coil that nice by hand. And here it is. One simple little tool does it all. Now, if you want to go smaller than that, you can. The Coil Master version 3 goes all the way down to a 1.5 millimeter rod. However, that's as low as it goes for the rods that come with the version 3. But, if you have an old version 2, you can use your 1 millimeter rod from your version 2 in your version 3. Now, it's going to be, be a very short rod compared to the ones that come with version 3. But if you absolutely have to have that, that one millimeter coil, you can use your old rod in the version 3. Alright, and with that, we're going to go ahead and end this segment. Coil Master, I very much appreciate the, the you know, the ability to get this and use it and review it. And I look forward to reviewing more of your products. Anything you want reviewed, you let me know. And you'll get a very comprehensive, in-depth review. All right. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.